and my youtube duru janko i'm a native of banjul i'm staying at number four john street here i'm into this youth activist and i am the vice chairperson of the banjul youth committee yeah and that's who i am covid 19 is a global pandemic as you and i you all know that it's a universal uh, issue something that is you know affecting uh, the whole world and our country is not uh, an exception the gambia and uh, right now countries are you know trying to come up with measures to try to see how best they're going to cope this uh, deadly pandemic so it's something that you know we shouldn't joke with we shouldn't neglect so we and uh, the government alone cannot do it so we all have to come together and see how best you know we can you know tackle this uh, invincible enemy as you and i know that you know we are in a state of uh, public emergency and uh, the, the previous one has just elapsed and uh, uh, another 21 days has been added so for that being the case all our borders are closed and our close neighbors senegal they have already eased their restrictions which is not to our advantage and uh, we have learned and we have seen you know senegalese you know smuggling into the gambia illegally entering the country and uh, which is which is which is undone and uh, as i'm speaking we have some of our neighbors here who have smuggled and entered and we don't know whether they have already contracted the virus which is very worrying so one of them came on the 8th so we were very worried scared on the same day we called uh, 1025 we reported the case so they said you know they have already taken the information they will come for the passing so the following day another person came we called back again to 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 remind them so they said they they, they are having a list so they are going according to the list it's just like first come first serve but uh since on the eight up to today you know we haven't seen neither hear from them so which is very worrying so as i'm speaking you know all my uh neighbors here they are all scary they are worried as you can see we have small children among us we have elderly you know we have people that are suffering from you know some health complications and you and i know that once you contract this coronavirus if you have any health complications you know it's 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 it will be very risky for you so that's why you know i'm a very concerned person you know i'm an activist anything that i see that is uh, wrong in the society what i do i normally go online facebook or my whatsapp studios i will just go and post it there but i've not been active this recent days so right now we have two of them that are from senegal they are staying with us here and uh, we are not saying that they are having it but we all know that you can have this virus without showing any symptoms so and they have already you know gone to work today so who knows how many people they might be contracting or socializing with so it's something that is very very worrying yeah to be frank the gambia and senegal is is, is a one country you know they are a country that surrounded us on all three angles so to control the border is going to be very difficult some people even claim that there is no border between the gambia and senegal which i am not disputing because even countries with you know very sophisticated you know materials you know the this the for the developed countries like america and others they even finding it very difficult you know to control their borders you see you know people will be you know doing all kinds of things to make sure that they smuggle into those countries so our gambia also our government you know they will find it very difficult you know trying to stop people from smuggling into the gambia so i am uh, not blaming the government but what i'm saying is that like even if people smuggle and come into the country they should try and see how best they should trace them that is something that i want to put across here like uh we the gambians like uh we have this uh, sluggish attitude of i don't care you know they will see something that is not right something that is not going well but they will tend to ignore it which will not help us you know as i said earlier on the government alone cannot do it you know uh, we need to put all hands in deck try to compliment them and see how best we can help them you know to to cope this uh pandemic 
But as you said, you know, we need more civic education, more sensitization. Because some people nowadays, they even think that, my friend, this, this, this pandemic is a joke. Yeah, so for that being the case, you know, we need more sensitization. We need more sensitization so that people can know that this thing is real. And, you know, we have to put up very stringent measures to make sure that we help to contain this pandemic. Well, uh, as I told you earlier on, I am someone who is very active online. So I, I've already decided that once I log in on social media, I will uh, try to see how best I will share this whole uh, in whole story with them to see how best they can help us. Yeah, I will do that by God's grace. Well, I can say it's a failure. It's a failure, but uh, it's not all over yet. They are not yet late, but I think they have to double their efforts because, uh, you know, uh, if you go to other streets, I have friends, um, you know, that they told me that, you know, they have seen, you know, more and more Senegalese entering the country on a daily basis. It's just like, you know, they don't respect our law. They don't care. They can come into the Gambia anytime, you know, they can leave the country anytime. So without being noticed. So definitely it is worrying. So it's a big failure. On their side so and uh, we have all heard and seen the who you know uh, warning and informing africans that you know the yet uh, the worst is yet to come let us uh, be prepared for the worst so for that being the case our gamba is very small and our health sector is not as robust as other health uh, sectors in other sub regions so we need to make sure that you know uh, we, we we take the uh, necessary measures to make sure that uh, this pandemic does not escalate here. If, it's, if it escalates, it's going to be a very, very uh, challenging stuff for the country.